In this video, we will see how to write a simple client application using Visual C++ code to interface with Casper CG server. Only two essential steps are required. First open a Windows socket and next send the Casper CG commands to the connected socket. So let's get started. Let's start by opening a new MFC dialog based project on Visual C++. After loading the new project, let's create an edit control to enable us to enter Casper CG commands and a button control to send the command to the server through our created socket. Let's create a create socket function. Remember, three functions are important here. First, WSA startup function, supply the WinSock version number and to initialize all the behind the scenes stuff that our application needs to use the socket. Second, socket function to create the socket with the desired IP address and port number. Third, connect function, to connect the socket to the server. Initialize, an instance of Windows Sockets API or WSA data. Call WSA startup to initialize WinSock. Use constant AF inet for select internetwork like UDP and IP constant IP proto underscore TCP to select TCIP protocol as socket function parameters. Select AF inet for the internetwork mode. AF inet is an address family that is used to designate the type of addresses that your socket can communicate with, in this case, Internet Protocol v4 addresses. In case of any error, call close socket function and WSA cleanup function. In the socket address in structure, pass the address 127.0.0.1 and port number 5250 which are defaults for Casper CG. The user can also specify the server port address from the Casper CG configuration file. HTONS or host to network function ensures that the port address numbers are stored in memory in network byte order. Now, call the connect function to connect the created socket to the server. Let's create a function call ccg command to enable us to send user commands from the GUI to the server through the created socket. Simply call the function send along with your command line and the socket as parameters. Advanced Media Control Protocol or AMCP, in short, is the main communication protocol used to control and query Casper CG server. All communication is presumed to be encoded in UTF-8. Each command has to be terminated with both a carriage return and a line feed character. Server may take few seconds to launch, ensure that the user commands are sent after completion of the loading. Set a Windows timer to launch create socket in the beginning. In the set timer function, call the function create socket once to establish a connection to the server. Write a message handler for the button control. Call the ccg command function in the handler like so. That's all folks. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel.